Parker and welcome back to our channel. Um, we're at Shoshone. Um, we're about to work on the Airstream, so let's go look at it and how it's doing. And it's gonna be a beauty. It's shinier than before, so let's see it. Okay, so since the citrus strip did not take off the vinyl, I now have to go through and painfully peel it off by heating it up and slowly peeling it off as it breaks apart and start over again. So it's gonna be a long process, but that stripe needs to come off and then we can remove the clear coat and sticky residue that's underneath. After probably 30 minutes of barely getting any of it off just because it's brittle and breaking apart and just crappy vinyl, um, I borrowed a tool from a, a friend where I used to work um, doing vinyl decals and stuff. And so hopefully that'll help get it off a lot faster. Yeah, so we gotta do that. We're also going to, the citrus strip did start eating away at the silicone and other sealant. I'm not sure if it's all silicone or not, but it did start eating away at that stuff yesterday. And so when we were power washing it, it was starting to loosen up. And so we're gonna hit it with the rest of the citrus strip that we have just on those big chunks of silicone that are still on the trailer and let that sit for most of the day. Then we're just gonna go in there and try to scrape it off and get the rest of it off. So that's pretty much all that we have left for the outside of the trailer to get all the crap off and, and then I think we'll be ready for polishing. i uh, pretty excited to get this all cleaned up and looking good. It's already looking a lot better, um, a lot, um, there's a good looking trailer under all that junk that was on there, so. All right, so I asked my friend Fred, who I used to work with at the decal shop, um, about removing this, and he told me they got this new tool. So I have it here, I'm borrowing it from them. Um, not sure what it's called, but it's made by Monty. It's a German company. I'll put a link to it in the description, so if you guys need this, you can go find one. But uh, basically, it's just a high RPM wheel, and it's got, this little wheel on it, and you can see it's kind of got teeth. It's basically a hard rubber, kind of like an eraser, but a lot harder. I'm gonna give it a try and see if it helps take it off. Supposedly it works really well and saves a lot of time, which I really need because that thing is not wanting to come off. Alright, so I just removed that two foot, foot and a half section in three minutes. Took me about yesterday just peeling off, took me a half hour to remove about the same amount from here to here, maybe even more. So, this thing's awesome. Uh, definitely a lot of rubber dust, so wear a mask, eye protection. The uh, adhesive residue is still on there, so you're gonna have to go back and remove that with Goo Gone or alcohol or something. But yeah, that would, same thing would happen even if you peeled it off. So you'd still have to do that. So this thing is definitely worth it. So I'm having to uh, still scraping off that silicone and 
what's probably epoxy or something like that what I'm having to use a metal razor and I go really slow because the metal razor unfortunately will scratch and even take off little chunks of the aluminum if I'm not careful it'll dig in so as I go really slow and I've gone about two feet in an hour <laughs> just trying to get it off I'm using goo gone as well um, to get the goo off and um, yeah it's a very annoying long process but we have to get it all off so who knows how long this will take but um, yeah I would not advise anyone to buy an airstream that is covered in silicone try to avoid it if at all possible what do you think I think that But you should buy an airstream with silicone on it. <laughs> That's good advice. <laughs> you know, there's still going to be some stuff left over, and I'm wondering if taking the polisher at, with the finest pad, like the final pad that you would use to get that mirror shine, if just something that's soft, but something that'll just... Um, where'd you go? Why'd you leave? <laughs> something that'll just, um, you know, be enough to just kind of rub the goo off in the cracks and around the rivets because that stuff's really hard to get to especially with the razor so I might try that I don't know I'm just trying to think of you know what could get it all off and get a clean thing because I don't want to have any residue left when I go to do the first cut of the polish because that'll probably take the residue off but then it'll also you know do the first cut of the bare metal that's all around it and then but the stuff that was underneath, the metal that was underneath the adhesive won't, won't be cut. And so then it'll be this kind of uneven cut. So yeah, just trying to think of ideas. If anybody has ideas out there, please let me know in the comments. I will be much appreciated. Hello everybody. Um, so um, I'm with Yasmo Pocket again and um, me and my daddy just took a video and um, this Osmo Pocket is going yeah. crazy and I can't even get it to the point where I want it. Oh, my it's just turning oh. around by itself sometimes or right now and um, well, you it is lazy right now. I have no idea what to do but it's lazy.